1776, the British Empire dominates North America. After years of discontent, the 13 American colonies emerge united in open revolt against the crown. They have chosen George Washington as their commander in chief, asking him to defend their cities and towns against the greatest military power on earth. But Washington has an amateur army and no navy, while Britannia rules the waves. In Boston, birthplace of the rebellion, Patriots watch helplessly as British ships blockade the harbor and General William Howe takes control of the city. Howe has such contempt for the American army, he does not bother occupying the strategic high ground south of the city. Instead, his army tears up houses, barns, and even demolishes the old North Church for firewood. While his officers seize the finest mansions for drinking, dancing, and entertaining. Howe's behavior infuriates George Washington, who once served in the British Army and knows well the English sense of superiority. Washington decides to turn that arrogance to his own advantage. Using captured British cannon, he sets in motion an elaborate plan. And on the night of March 4th, under a full moon, Washington opens fire on British positions. British guns fire back in anger. But the American barrage is merely a diversion. Across the harbor, a large rebel force is sneaking onto the high ground at Dorset.